It began with a quiet crack, not just in an ancient fossilized egg, but in the long-held beliefs of paleontology itself. For decades, the image of a dinosaur carefully laying hard-shelled eggs in a dirt nest was rarely questioned. Most scientists believed dinosaurs, like modern reptiles, laid their eggs, covered them with soil or foliage, and left them to hatch. But a 2320 discovery in Patagonia has turned that assumption on its head. In a sediment-rich area of Argentina, paleontologists uncovered soft-shelled dinosaur eggs, thin, leathery, and unlike the solid, calcium-based ones previously discovered, what stunned researchers even more was the positioning of some of these eggs. They were located within the fossilized skeleton of an adult female dinosaur, suggesting she died before laying them. This detail raised an unprecedented possibility. Could some dinosaurs have carried eggs internally longer than expected, or even given birth to live young? For animals traditionally viewed as primitive and reptilian, this idea sounded absurd, but science thrives on disruption. These soft eggs, once thought improbable, may unlock new answers about dinosaur biology. Suddenly, a crack in an ancient egg became a crack in scientific certainty. And the deeper we look, the more our understanding of dinosaur reproduction begins to shift perhaps towards something unexpectedly modern and astonishingly complex. For most of the 20th century, dinosaur reproduction was considered simple and uniform. Fossilized nests discovered in Mongolia, China, and Argentina showed groups of eggs arranged in organized patterns. These circular layouts supported the idea that dinosaurs laid eggs in prepared nests, much like birds today. Scientists even identified adult dinosaurs like Oviraptor positioned over nests initially thought to be egg thieves until it was realized they were likely protecting their own eggs. This revelation sparked a shift in perception. Paleontologists began to believe dinosaurs were attentive parents, especially those related to birds. The prevailing theory became that all dinosaurs laid eggs, left them in nests, and either guarded them or moved on. It seemed logical, neat, and consistent with modern analogs like crocodiles and birds. Textbooks and documentaries reinforced this image, and it became ingrained in public understanding. But cracks in that theory emerged slowly. Why were fossilized eggs so rare compared to dinosaur skeletons? Why were some major species like Tishwars rex never discovered with nests? These inconsistencies hinted at missing knowledge. Still, for decades, the idea of diverse reproductive strategies remained mostly unexplored. Scientists, as it turned out, might have been looking in the wrong places or asking the wrong questions. As paleontologists began to examine fossilized nests more carefully, they noticed unusual details. Some eggs had thin, porous shells, suggesting they required moisture to survive, like the soft eggs of snakes and turtles. Others were buried deep in sediment layers that would have crushed hard-shelled amos eggs. In places like the Gobi Desert and Hell Creek Formation, dinosaur bones were found without any associated nests or egg remains, raising new questions about where and how these creatures laid their eggs. Moreover, scientists discovered medull medullary bone in the pelvis of several female dinosaurs. This temporary tissue forms in birds during ovulation to supply calcium for eggshells. Its presence confirmed egg laying, but the absence of actual eggs nearby was puzzling. Could the eggs have been soft-shelled and decomposed before fossilization? Or did these dinosaurs delay laying them? Some fossils even suggest internal egg retention, blurring the line between egg-laying oviparity and live-birth viviparity. These details, once dismissed as anomalies, now form the foundation of a new theory. Dinosaur reproduction may not have been a one-size-fits-all approach. Instead, it might have varied widely depending on species, climate, and evolutionary lineage, opening the door to possibilities 
long considered unthinkable. In 2021, CT scans of theropod pelvises revealed a surprising anatomical feature. The birth canal was too narrow to pass a large, hard-shelled egg. This challenged long-standing assumptions. Could these dinosaurs have laid smaller, soft-shelled eggs? Or perhaps they didn't lay eggs at all, but instead retained them internally until hatching. The idea of live birth among dinosaurs sounds radical, but it's not without precedent. Marine reptiles, like ichthyosaurs and mosasaurs, which lived during the same periods, are known to have given birth to live young. Even some modern reptiles, like certain snakes and lizards, bypass egg-laying under specific environmental conditions. If environmental pressures such as predation or climate instability affected dinosaur survival, evolving alternative reproductive methods could have been advantageous. One fossil from China showed a baby dinosaur within the ribcage of a larger adult of the same species, prompting speculation about live birth. While still debated, it's evidence worth exploring. Some paleontologists now argue that reproductive flexibility, like the capacity for both laying eggs and internal development, may have given certain dinosaur species a critical edge. It also blurs the line between cold-blooded reptilian behaviors and the more complex parenting strategies seen in birds and mammals. In 2020, scientists studying protoceratops and mosaurus eggs made an eye-opening discovery the shells weren't hard. Instead, they were flexible, leathery, and nearly invisible under sediment. This explained why fossilized dinosaur eggs are so rare. Soft eggs degrade quickly, leaving little trace behind. These findings rewrote the book on dinosaur reproduction and raised significant questions about their nesting behavior. Soft-shelled eggs can't survive exposure to sun and air. They require constant moisture or burial, much like the eggs of some modern turtles. This means dinosaurs that laid soft eggs likely had very different nesting strategies than those portrayed in museums and documentaries. Some may have buried their eggs in wet sand or covered them with decaying vegetation to maintain humidity and temperature. The discovery also helped explain inconsistencies in the fossil record. In regions where the environment didn't support rapid sediment burial, soft eggs simply didn't fossilize. This creates a bias in our understanding. We've been studying only the eggs that fossilize well, likely those with hard shells, while overlooking species that use softer, more fragile eggs. That oversight has distorted our perception of how dinosaurs reproduced and how diverse their strategies might have been across different environments and time periods. Dinosaurs weren't a single species, they were an entire class of animals, spanning hundreds of millions of years and ranging from tiny feathered hunters to massive plant-eating giants. It's unreasonable to think they all reproduced the same way. And yet, for much of scientific history, that's exactly what was assumed. Now, evidence suggests that reproductive strategies vary just as widely as dinosaur body types. Sauropods like Argentinosaurus may have laid dozens of small eggs in mass nesting grounds, similar to sea turtles. These communal sites offered safety in numbers, though little parental care. Theropods like Trudon appear to have incubated their eggs using body heat, arranging them in precise rings for optimal warmth. Hadrosaurs may have built nests from vegetation and guarded them, possibly feeding their hatchlings in the early days of life. And what about the mysterious Ceratopsians? Few nesting sites have been found, leaving room for speculation. Perhaps they used hidden burrows or laid eggs in protected riverbanks. The point is simple, but revolutionary dinosaur reproduction wasn't monolithic. It was adaptive, flexible, and shaped by each species' needs and environment, just like reproduction in mammals, birds, and reptiles today. And we've only scratched the surface of what's possible. 
the traditional image of female dinosaurs guarding their nests may need revision. In some fossilized nesting sites, the size and build of the adult found brooding the eggs suggest it was male. This observation parallels behaviors in certain modern birds like emus, cassowaries, and ostriches, where males take over incubation duties while females move on to lay more eggs elsewhere. This isn't just speculation. Studies comparing bone density and hormonal markers in fossils show similarities between male dinosaurs and modern male birds known for parental care. It implies that dinosaur families may have had complex dynamics, perhaps involving males protecting and warming the nest, or even feeding hatchlings after birth. This challenges assumptions not just about reproduction, but about dinosaur social behavior. Were they more cooperative than previously thought? Could certain species have lived in structured groups with defined roles, much like wolf packs or elephant herds? Such insights reshape our image of these ancient creatures. No longer just mindless predators or lumbering herbivores, dinosaurs begin to resemble real animals with instincts, responsibilities, and perhaps even bonds. The fact that some may have shared parenting duties or reversed traditional gender roles adds another fascinating layer to the ever-evolving story of their lives. In Montana's Two Medicine Formation, paleontologists discovered a site that changed everything, a, a nesting ground of Myasaura, or good mother lizard. Here, adult dinosaurs were found with juveniles of various ages, suggesting that hatchlings remained in the nest long after birth. They didn't simply hatch and scatter, they were nurtured. Bone studies showed that the young grew rapidly, requiring high-protein diets. This implies that parents, likely both male and female, brought food to the nest. The social structure was likely complex, with herd protection and perhaps even communal rearing. This kind of prolonged care was once thought to be limited to mammals and birds, but dinosaurs were doing it tens of millions of years ago. Fossil trackways also support the theory. Some show groups of adults and juveniles moving together, indicating herding behavior. In a harsh prehistoric world full of predators, this made sense. Young dinosaurs were vulnerable, and sticking together increased their chances of survival. These findings suggest that some dinosaurs weren't just egg layers, they were caregivers. They invested in the survival of their young, much like modern elephants or lions do. And that realization adds a powerful emotional dimension to creatures we once saw as nothing more than ancient beasts. Not all reproductive behaviors were nurturing. Some may have been strategic, even ruthless. One theory proposes that certain dinosaurs practiced brood parasitism, laying their eggs in the nests of others, forcing another species to raise their young. This behavior is seen today in birds like cuckoos and cowbirds, and it could have roots far deeper in evolutionary history. Another radical theory suggests communal nesting. Fossils from Argentina show eggs from multiple species within a single nesting site. These mixed clutches may indicate that different females laid eggs together and shared the responsibility of guarding them. This cooperative strategy is still observed in some crocodilian and bird species, where multiple parents defend the nest as a group. Such behaviors imply high-level social interactions far beyond what was once imagined for dinosaurs. It suggests communication, territory management, and perhaps even memory. Did certain species return to the same nesting grounds each year? Did they recognize family members or neighbors? Though these ideas remain controversial, they reflect a growing willingness in science to ask bold questions. Dinosaurs may have been capable of social complexity, deception, or cooperation behaviors that push them closer to modern animals than cold-blooded relics of the past. Despite all these discoveries, major mysteries remain. Reproductive behavior is notoriously difficult to study in extinct animals. 
soft tissues rarely fossilize, and behaviors don't leave obvious marks in stone. Every new fossilized egg, nest, or skeleton is like finding a missing puzzle piece valuable, but incomplete. Could we one day extract hormonal traces from fossil eggshells? Could we model how dinosaur embryos developed? Technologies like synchrotron scanning and chemical analysis are offering glimpses, but even with progress, we must accept uncertainty. Nature doesn't always follow neat rules, and ancient life was messier than we imagine. What's certain is that dinosaur reproduction was far more varied and advanced than once believed. Some laid soft eggs in buried nests, others may have birthed live young. Some guarded their offspring, while others left them behind or relied on others to raise them. The diversity is astounding, and it forces us to rethink what we thought we knew, not just about dinosaurs, but about evolution itself. The deeper we dig, the clearer it becomes dinosaurs weren't just survivors, they were innovators. And their family lives may hold lessons not just for science, but for understanding the origins of parenting across all species. 